It's a beautiful spring morning in Heartland, Michigan. Last time I showed you guys how I put up this chicken wire fence around my garden by myself. But now I'd like to address another problem I came across. This is my top wire from the original video. So at the far post, that's about five foot off the ground. But due to the elevation change, when I get over here, this fence is only about two and a half, three foot off the ground. So that's too low. The level top was crucial in installing this fence, but now we gotta fill these gaps in. The chicken wire has these main wires going through it at every 12 inches, so we talked about adding more guide wires and spacing these 12 inches up till we run out of post. With the guide wires installed, the installation process is the same. And you're all set, it's gonna look like this. I didn't put any tie wraps on the bottom or any staples on the posts on the bottom. Because we're gonna take this bottom part and we're gonna cut it about an inch below our original fence so it overlaps. Finished product is gonna look like this. Our tie wraps hold these two pieces together and we have a nice even line. Now that that's all set, we gotta hit these areas where we have the decline and fill in these gaps. And now, the top of my fence is right here, all the way down. Here's another guide wire I added. And what I did was, tied another steel wire to the top here and angled it down to the top of the next post. I'm gonna do this another time or two all the way down and we're gonna fill in those voids. This time when I put the fence in, I wanna leave some extra to overhang this so it sticks up. But I still want one of the main guide wires to catch this. Here's an example of my set wires at the top of the post, angled down. These ones are still level at 12 inches. So we're meeting this one to this one. Continues down at an angle. And as we get to the end, it starts getting lower. And then the final one, I'm right to the top of the fence. You can use a smaller cutoff for this, but I'm still gonna be using the five foot roll. So what I did was I put a few staples in this post to straighten it up and I matched this main wire of the chicken wire to our guide wire. And from here, I'm gonna keep putting tie wraps across this all the way down. We're only putting tie wraps on this level wire here and the one that meets up where our fence is already at. We're not doing anything with this yet. I got my tie wrap set up on the level wires. No tie wrap on the top wire yet. And no tie wraps on the bottom. Because this is the part we're going to cut. Since we already have a fence there. I set my fence to the next post. And I actually cut this down to save fencing because what I'm going to do is this slack right here when we cut it we're going to use it for this next panel. Same as four cutting about one inch down and that's going to leave us about three feet of fence left over to work with. Got everything set so now we're moving on to the last step where we're going to take this and we're going to fold it over and tie wrap it to this wire. That's gonna give us a nice transition going downwards. We'll start by taking this, pulling it up and over. And we're gonna take a tie wrap and put a tie wrap here 
doesn't really matter where but we're gonna do this all the way down the same way When you're going along with the tie wraps, it also helps to fold this over and pinch it down so it's tight with the wire. That's pretty much it. Got a real nice smooth transition going downhill. Gonna do this for the rest of the fence and we'll be done. Thanks for watching.